Hi everybody, well after a busy period of cup semi-final action and away travel, Lightning were back at home on Saturday night. Bees were the visitors, let's go and check out the action. It's going to be Lightning captain Russ Cowley to contest the first draw of the game up against Goodbye for Bees. Bit of a change round for Lewis Clifford tonight on lines. Liam Stewart with Adam Laystrom and Russ Cowley on the uh, opening line. Griffin. Backhand flicks it down. Max just loses an edge there and it turns it over to McKenzie. Space in front for Smittle now. And the shot will come in and hit Smittle on the upper body. It's rebounded out and off goes Griffin now. That familiar skating style takes the great hit from Harvey Stead down on the boards there. Rides that one out nicely. Turn over again. And it's Liam Stewart. Goes over the left shoulder of Adam Goss. Cheap turn over that. Liam Stewart's going to take those all day long. 15.41 to go. And the Orion Black Milton Keys Lightning take the lead. The softest of turnovers straight onto the backhand of Liam Stewart. And when you've got a sniper of that quality, he's very rarely going to miss. Came straight back out. Really cheap turnover. Thanks very much. That's bread and butter to him. 1 0 Lightning. Puck dinked all the way over the top, and uh, Smith takes that into his glove and lets the play continue. Talbot now, right hand side, just tries to fire it in. The video does. Great save that by Goss. It was Chamberlain arriving late. Got a pad to that. That's a brilliant save by Adam Goss. Harvey Stead. Jameson turns his man nicely, just gives himself a little bit more space, but there are two white shirts down there. Lightning need to clear, which they do this time. Cowley, a minute remaining on the Bees penalty. Stewart now, circling well. Liam Stewart gives it to Cowley, drops it to Nags, and that's a great goal! That's a really well worked goal, four on four. Cowley, Nags and Stewart combining for Liam Stewart's second goal of the game. 3.39 to go. Really well worked out goal that. Patient build up. Liam Stewart started it. Diagonal pass down to Russ Cowley. Drops it to Nags and then drops it to Stewart. Just fires it past. Goss in the B's goal. It's an even handy goal, of course. There's 44 seconds remaining on the Bees penalty and 113 remaining on the Lightning penalty. And Bees managed to clear their zone. Bradley. Still there. Sam Russell goes with him. Power. It looked like it, <clears throat> like it hurt my power then. I don't know why that slightly bent his knee. Good clearance that field that was into the last minute of this first period. We're getting a bit messy out there at the moment. Players getting tangled up. Webb drops it inside. Martin saves Smittle just out in front. Chamberlain now. What can Lightning get going before the end of this first period? Talbot shots away. Left hand save for uh, Goss that time. Russell just fires it in. It's a goal! Just stuck through the five hole of Adam Goss. Just trickled through. I don't know if anybody got a touch on that as he went home, but I've got a feeling that's going to be Ben Russell's goal. Put the shot in. He hit Goss and he just made it all the way through. And I've got a feeling, traffic in front of Goss, I've got a feeling that's Ben Russell's goal, but we'll wait for that to be announced. Lightning look to break again. First goal of the season for Ben Russell. Another opportunity maybe with four seconds to go and it's pushed away by Goss this time round and on that the buzzer will go at the end of the first period and the score as the teams go in after the first 20 minutes is the all in black Milton Keynes Lightning three. It's the Bees nil. Kenzie now. Please can't clear their zone again and 
good start straight away. Noise levels with considerably. Ace from out front in front of Goss. And Goss got a stick in there. Russell. Score with that third lightning goal, of course. Lindgren. Great take. Opportunity now for Bees and they get the one back. And it was Lindgren to goodbye. 11.30 to go in the second. Good break that from Bees. Lightning lock not quite looking over their shoulders. A well taken goal. Puck was fired out. Great pass. Lingering on the blue line on the last man. Goodbye into space on his own. Just fires low to the right hand side of Max Mittal, who didn't really have a chance with that one. Stewart to Wallace. Chamberlain one times it to Stewart. Stewart was a little bit off his uh, feet then. Talbot with the shot. Good save that from Goss. Good block there from Stewart to. Keep the puck in the zone. Stewart again, just bobbles away from him, but he'll give it to Wallace. Traffic in front, Wallace is not going to get a shot away. Stewart again. Cowley. In front, Bobby Chamberlain! 4-1 Lightning. Patient build-up, power play goal. That'll put Bees back to full strength, of course. With 5.54 to go. There's Liam Stewart, picked it up off the boards, dropped it down deep, hard pass, Cowley, far post, Chamberlain one timer, beats Adam Goss. All in black, Milton Keynes lining four. Bees one. Now Bees make a move on the far right. Under two minutes remaining in this second period now. Wallace, going to have to go pretty much on his own. He'll release the shot and Goss has to make, forces Goss into making the save. Great hit from Chamberlain as he comes on the ice. Puts his man into the boards. And now Bees have numbers over and that's a great goal. And that's McKenzie, 125 to go. And Bees half a deficit. Well worked goal that. They still look dangerous all the time, Bees. Nicely dropped in, taken down. Mackenzie arriving late, just puts it away, way out of reach from Matt Smittle. Not a great deal he could do on that. 4-2 is the score, 125 to go in the second period. Chamberlain now having a few words with, um, with Martin. Talbot takes a tumble after tangling with Galazzi. Talbot got a bit of a stick there, unintentional from Galazzi. Puck goes high and picked up by Wallace. Nice little bit of handiwork there from Wallace. Even better from Talbot. Great work from Talbot! Sam Talbot! Scores line his fifth goal! I've got to say that was a cracking bit of control as well from Tim Wallace. 102 to go. Good little pass by Tim Wallace. He came off the back of a, of a skate, but there was Torbu who did the, the really hard work, picked up the puck, fired it low past Adam Goss. Ben Russell now. Green. Can't see an outlet. Stewart's over on the left hand side. Green opts to go on the right. Couldn't get enough of it. Jackson now. Great pass that Jackson. Fan on the shot slightly. He didn't quite get the power he wanted to, and certainly not the direction I wouldn't have thought. Easy save for Smithson to make on the right pad. Lakeshrum gets turned over. Goodbye. McKenzie again. Another shot comes in. That's another goal. I think that's Endicott. It's 5 3. There's a cheap turnover again. Thank you, pardon, Lingren, who scored the goal. McKenzie with the original shot. Lingren turns, finds a gap through there. It's a 5 3 game. 13.8 to go.
Just when producer Ben didn't think he got a lot to do with the highlights and goals on Monday. <laughs> Field will chase this in, couple of seconds to go, and as the buzzer goes at the end of this second period, pretty much end-to-end -end stuff again, certainly from the scoreline. At the end of that 20 minutes, it's the all-in black Milton Keys lining five, B's three. Apologise you've missed that goal. We do have it on record though, so um, it will be on the highlight highlights. But two and a half minutes we've missed. We are back up live now. Apologies for that. 15 25 to go. Wallace now. Fired out front. Talbot to sorry, green to Chamberlain, that was. Chamberlain gets tangled up with Wallace, but Wallace comes away with it this time. Fine out front again, that's a great goal! Wallace provides! And it's Sam Talbot who fires home for his second of the game. 7-3 to Lightning. Really well worked goal that time. Wallace just giving it time. Talbot with the one-timer. Goss with absolutely no chance. It's 7-3, 15.05 to go. Once again down in the corner. Monk just looking to clear his zone this time round. And these break down the left-hand side. And the cop couldn't get anything on that. Glacier rode out the challenge really well there. Nice little kick on his skate there. Good control from the American. Picks up the return pass. Stewart's on the far side. Cowley just taking his man out. Cowley with his goal! Brilliant goal! Brilliant work goal. Adam Laystrom making space for himself. Liam Stewart making room. And Cowley just coming in on the blind side. Well, Bees didn't know where their attack, where the attacking options were coming from then. Leishram, Stewart's already in on the blue paint. Cowley just goes in, picks up his first of the game. 8-3 Lightning. Nixon will chase back. Galassi's going to go with him. Galassi gets there first, but once again, it's out of the zone. 25 seconds to go. Noise. Really loud inside this arena. Barmy Army Charles, the drummers, and everybody else joining in. Coming up to 10 seconds to go. Still can't, Bees can't find a way forward. It's been a tough week for Lightning, a really tough week, but it's two points, we'll settle them a little bit. And that's the way it ends. At the end of the game, it's the All in Black Milton Keynes Lightning 8. B's three. Well, something for Lightning fans to smile about after a tough couple of road games, of course. And after that result, I caught up with head coach Lewis Clifford. Cliff, I guess um, we'll come on to the game in a minute, but I, I, I guess the words Jekyll and Hyde this week really spring to mind. But it's been a it's been a packed out, you know, period of games, isn't it? In, the, in this six days, let's talk about the the cup semi final on you know midweek first of all. Yeah. Of course, it wasn't the result you wanted, but at the end of the day. You, you do what you can do. Yeah, it was um, it was disappointing. Obviously, you know, for everybody involved, whether that was you know the, the players, myself, and the staff, um, the ownership group, and, and obviously the supporters that travelled up there to you know try and help us get to a, a cup final. You know, um, Telford are a really good team. 
and that night we weren't a really good team. You know, I think we came out and we looked nervous. We looked like edgy. I don't feel that we needed to be nervous for any reason. Uh, and they came out like a train. Um, and like all credit to them, they pulled our pants down pretty bad in the first period, and um, then a couple of soft ones in the second, and, and it was it was good night. And, and you know. It, it, in sport, in big games, you have to be at your best. I think we were at our best for two periods of the first leg, uh, the first and the third, uh, and we just weren't at our best, and we got ultimately what we deserved. It's done, it's dusted. You've got to put it behind you now. And You know, there's a gap between yourselves and Telford for the league. Are you realistic you now, you know, got one eye on the playoffs and things thinking, let's, let's start focusing there? Because tonight, once again, it clicked again. Whereas, and even last night up in Sheffield, I mean, that was a great game to watch. Wrong scoreline, great game to watch. Yeah, the, the first period was disappointing last night. You know, um, we're leggy at the moment, we're tired. Um, obviously, you know, we went Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Obviously, day off tomorrow, thank God. But um, we, we were leggy last night and we came out slow. Um, we, weren't, we weren't at the races. You know, I'm not making excuses, there are no excuses. We, we did get stuck in traffic and we got there with 20 minutes. To, to get ready and, and warmed up and 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 um, we, we weren't we weren't ready to go um, you know but the, over the course of the next 40 minutes we played really well uh, but unfortunately you know it's, it has to be 60 minutes or, or nothing you know um, you can't play for 20 you can't play for 40 it has to be a full 60 minute performance and and I think tonight really the second period was our weakest period but we, we got a pretty good 60 minute performance tonight you had to tinker yet again with the line slide because obviously you know, Sean Norris picked up an injury up in Sheffield last night. But they really started to work tonight, didn't they? they you know, they were clicking again. Adam Leisham enjoying, you know, a lot of ice time up on the first line there. And, and stuff was really happening tonight. Yeah, um, obviously we went back to a line that we've had um, across, you know, the early part of the season. We, we knew that was fine. That could take care of itself. Second line would be, you know, sort of Sammy Talbot with Bob and, um, and Timmy. Um, and they're all good players. They can all play with each other. Um, so we made a change last night, thinking that that would, would what we'd be run with for a, uh, a little while, and then we had to change it again. Um, I thought our third line was good tonight. I think um, Callum got a lot of ice time tonight. He was excellent. Um, I was really pleased with that. He's he's been deserving of more ice time lately. Uh, the nature of the games that we've been in haven't really allowed us. To, maybe we weren't brave enough, you know. But tonight he got loads of ice time and he played really really well. Crowd once again getting behind the boys again tonight. You know, as, as I say, it really did start to click. And, you know, now I guess you can start to calm down a little bit because, as I said at the very start, this has been a really tough period of games, hasn't it? And it's it's easy sometimes for, you know, for people to, to, to say stuff. But you've got to realise that, you know, these guys, are, they're on it pretty much every other night for a week, week and a bit. Yeah, I think, um, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Um, you know, I, I see some of those opinions, not because I go looking for them, but just, you know, if you go on social media, or especially Twitter, it's because um, someone's liked something uh, or it's a, a, um, a subject or discussion that you are following or whatever, and things pop up. And you know what? Um, everyone's entitled to their opinion. I'm, I'm a sports fan myself. I support teams that sometimes win and sometimes lose. I understand the frustrations, but you know what? There's not one player in that team who doesn't want to win. There's not one player in that team who comes here and thinks, oh, I'm going to play rubbish tonight. Um, it's been a tough week, but that's what it's been a week. It's not been like we've been stinking the place out for six weeks or, you know, two months. And I think actually, you know what, if, if you want to criticise anyone, criticise me. Like, uh, you know, I, I'm the guy that has to try and get, get tired bodies up for it. I'm the guy that has to try and organise things. And if I'm not doing my job properly, criticise me. I'm a big boy, I can take it. But, you know, singling out individuals, young men who have worked all day and then got on a bus and travelled for two hours and then played. I think it, it, it's a little bit untoward sometimes, you know. These are not Premier League footballers that get paid hundreds of thousand pounds uh, to, to play the sport. It's quite easy to forget, forget sometimes as well. You know, like you say, they, they, they are young lads and, you know, they, you know they, they, they do read this stuff. And like you say, everybody's entitled to those opinions. They certainly are. But now you got, I guess you're going to enjoy the extra day, aren't you, the, the Sunday, you know, before you get back into it during the week. Yeah, I think um, we need the day off desperately I'm tired I, I said this to you at the end of the Christmas thing like I'm tired and I don't play so I know how those guys must be feeling um, a day off tomorrow will be lovely I think the boys are maybe having some sort of Super Bowl party or something good luck to them um, they deserve a day off you know results haven't been there 
but um, that's not for lack of trying. I can assure you of that. And we have to remember, of course, it was only a week, 10 days ago. We were beating Telford in here. We were beating Swindon in here. So it's, it's, sometimes it's easy to forget that kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. It was it was seven days ago that we beat Swindon in what I think was one of our best performances of the, the season. So, you know, um, I've been miserable this week. Uh, ask anybody that knows me. I've been down. I've been sulking. I've been moody. Um, but, you know... A win is a win, and now we go again next Saturday against Basingstoke, and, and we try and make it too. Brilliant. Well, thanks, Cliff. Enjoy your day off tomorrow. Sure you will. Speak to you next week. Thanks, Chris. So once again, as normal, many thanks to Cliff for taking the time to chat to us after the game. Don't forget, next Saturday night, 7 o'clock face-off once again. Basingstoke Bison are in town. You can get all the information from the Lightning website, all the social media channels. Until then, have yourselves a great week. Stay safe. Take care.